When it comes to a Conor McGregor fight, there's always going to be some sort of drama, as it was only last week when the entire fight world thought the fight was going to be called off, and Michael Chandler was most likely in shock considering he spent two years out the octagon all in preparation for a fight against Conor McGregor. Well, he recently reacted to some of Conor's recent training footage, and he's in complete shock. So be sure to stick around till the end for the full details. Some fans are now persuaded by these insights inside his training schedule that the infamous is in competitive shape and prepared to fight. As a few days ago, the Notorious post a few clips from his training camp which got everyone talking with numerous posts like, bro just playing mind games with Chandler. Y'all must have forgot, this is a dangerous McGregor in flow. His counters will always be goated. Michael Chandler was recently on the Pivot podcast and shared his perspective on what it was like to learn that Conor McGregor might not make it to the main event of UFC 303, but confirmed after all the speculation that has been going on that June 29th will be taking place. Got this fight coming up. You think? I hope, uh, yeah. Are we allegedly. hope, right? No, we, <laughs> the fight, yeah, the fight's happening. All Obviously, right. where we are right now, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of speculation, but the fight is, the fight is on. June 29th, it's happening. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. By doing this, you'll never miss out on any future videos from the combat sports world. While on the Pivot podcast, he covered a wide range of subjects, such as his feelings over his rivals' partying videos and the postponed press conference. If you've seen Connor, you would not put that past Connor. But then you see Ryan Garcia do what Ryan Garcia did. There's all kinds of different throwing people off the trail and publicity stunts, if you will. I'm training whether I see Connor in the club every single day or if I see him tweet or do an interview and he looks the best he's ever been, bright eyed and bushy tailed. I'm training the exact same way. I train that way whether I'm fighting all those guys you never heard of all the way to the number one guy in the world. From Charles Oliveira at the time to Conor McGregor now, my process does not change and it does not waver. So I know I can step into the octagon and do what I have to do. Let's get started. Conor McGregor appears to be training for his bout with Michael Chandler in a number of newly released videos that have leaked online amid reports that he may not participate in UFC 303. Oh, yeah. the validity of McGregor's comeback was questioned for a while because he had trouble passing the doping test and his physical conditioning raised concerns, even though Chandler was regularly working out in the gym and disclosing his training results. McGregor regularly shared footage from bars where it was clear that he was drinking. Even when Connor shared videos of himself working out with his trainers, it was impossible to assess how hard he was training in comparison with Chandler's consistency these past few years in hope of a McGregor fight. However, many now think that McGregor is using this behavior as a tactic. For instance, by giving the impression that he is less committed, he creates a narrative that may work in his favor regardless of the result of the fight. 
If he wins, he can brag, did you see that I didn't prepare at all and still beat Chandler? On the other hand, if he loses, he now has an excuse, well, I wasn't prepared at all, I drank and partied and that's why I lost. However, the most recent training videos appear to indicate that McGregor is actually getting serious about getting ready for his fight with Chandler at UFC 303. These looks into his training schedule have given some fans hope that the infamous fighter is in fighting form and prepared to battle. Before we go any further into the video, what are your guys' honest thoughts on this entire situation? Is it looking likely Conor McGregor will beat Michael Chandler come June 29th? Or will Chandler show why his two years of dedication for this fight will pay off and he'll be the victor. Comment down below. A lot of different fighters have been giving their thoughts on the matchup between the pair and if it's even likely it'll take place come June 29th and Chael Sonnen, who's known for his insightful takes on UFC matchups, believe the Conor vs Chandler fight is taking place and he's more focused than we have seen for years. I kind of don't agree with a lot of the speculation, partner. I think perhaps Conor McGregor for the first time ever is starting to focus. People love to use that word, they talk about focus. I don't know if people know what that means. It means you say no a lot more than you used to. You're looking at one thing and you're telling people no when you're getting these calls. And don't forget, as we're looking at the clues, there's one more big one, which is Carr did not just cancel the Ireland press conference. He canceled all media that's already been agreed to leading up to this contest, which makes me think quite possibly our Irish star is starting to focus. And you have to remember, Conor McGregor is on Muhammad Ali's level when it comes to mental warfare, as he will say and do anything to get in his opponent's head before the fight to gain an advantage. It's rather convenient he himself posts videos partying when he knows there's a fight coming up in over a month and then he cancels the press conference. He's planting the seeds to get everyone amped up and to try and sway Chandler's focus. It's not just Chandler who is ignoring McGregor's antics throughout the buildup. Promotional boss Dana White re recently discussed the Irishman's mental warfare prior to the fight, drawing comparisons to the legendary boxer Muhammad Ali on the flagrant podcast with Andrew Schultz. I will tell you this and I don't like comparing people to Muhammad Ali because to me he's the best, White explained. And forget what he did in fighting. Just as a human, what this guy accomplished, but he didn't give a damn what anybody said. He would predict rounds, he would come up with damn incredible poems and sayings, things that he would do leading up to the fight. And then you look at Conor McGregor, he's picked rounds, I mean the mental warfare that this guy had on so many of his fighters. And he would make these guys play into his game, get into their heads and completely embarrass them, and outwit them in every way, shape and form. With just a couple of weeks left till the fight, fans cannot wait to see McGregor's return as no one in UFC history has returned to their peak level after a leg break which he suffered and will McGregor be that man? Only time will tell. Anyway, this concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to Fight Fury for future videos from the combat sports world and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one.